So I want to show you how to create the design inside of Canva that you can use inside of your Dubsado forms. So I'm in my Canva dashboard on, on home, and all you're going to do is you're going to type website here. And you're going to select the one that works best for you. Um, there's a lot of different options here, as you can see. Like, And, and this is going to change, so don't worry too much if it doesn't look like what you want you're gonna make a lot of changes and customize it. And it's not gonna function as a website, so it's not gonna have that structure. It's mostly for the size. So I'm just gonna choose this one. So now I'm just gonna remove a lot of this. And I'm gonna start working with the fonts that I used inside of my form in Dubsado. So here is my Dubsado form. And you can see I've selected certain colors and certain fonts here. And I've left spaces for the images that I know I'm going to use, like an image of the owner of the business, a spot here for the header, um, spots here for the packages and the add-ons, a spot here for testimonials, and then um, a footer here, kind of like a thank you. So I'm going to go back into Canva. So this is that website size, and I'm going to customize this to make it look the way that I want it to match that form. In Canva, if you're using the free option, just make sure that when you're adding elements, that you're checking free here so that it doesn't add an element that you need to pay for when you download the file. Like this one, I know this one's free, so this one will work for um, anyone, whether they have a free or a paid account. So this is the image that you can use as a header. And I'm going to do the same for the testimonial section and for the footer section. I'll just speed those up. So basically, I deleted a lot of what was there. And um, I just added the text to match the font that I'm using inside of uh, Dubsado. And I just selected some images um, that would work here for this kind of brand. Let me make this one a little bit smaller. That's good. Um, and just a, a hint, so when you're searching, you can search like home office, let's say, and then you go to photos. Here you can select free. If you find something that you like, let's say you like this image here, this person, um, this company, Floral Deco, they upload a lot of images to Canva. So just look at this one, it says free for Canva Pro. So you would have to pay to download this image um, if you have a free account, so just make sure you use the filter. But let's say you have a pro account or you want to pay for this image or you just want to see what this uh, photographer has to offer. You can just click on that and you can see um, all the different options that are there. Like the vibe is kind of the same. So if this photographer is someone that you like, um, you can just you know select from these photos instead of scrolling through a lot of other photos. Um, and if you like an image and you want to, it's something that you're going to continue to use, you can also star it and it'll add it to your star folder, which is kind of like your favorite folder. Um, so those are just tips for Canva. Um, so all you're going to do now is instead of publishing as a website, you're just going to download it as an image. So this is fine. PNG is fine. And just click download. So now I'm in Dubsado, so all you're going to do is you're going to click where the header should go and you're just going to upload an image. You're going to upload it there, select it, and then close. So that's that. That's what your header is going to look like. Um, so let's scroll down to where the testimonials would go. The rest of the images are square, so I'll work on those separately. And now the footer. And that's what it's going to look like. Um, so now let's go and do the square images. 
so it's a lot of the same. I just, all I did is I grabbed a frame here, so, or a grid, sorry. And then I just shrunk it down to the size because I don't want it to take up the entire um, spot. I want to leave a little bit of white space there. So that's what I did there. And then here you're going to write what it is. So package, oops. And I'm going to select an image. So let's say it's this image. Um, so that would be it. And I'm just going to replicate this for the rest of the packages and the add-ons. So this is what the final elements look like. So package one, two, three, add on one, two, and three, and then the image for about me. So now I'm just going to download all the images. Now back in Dubsado, I'm going to start adding the images. Now I'm just going to select them all to make it easier. And I'm just going to click Upload All. And I skipped it here, but you should do it. I did not compress the images just for the sake of time, um, but I figure I should explain that to you. So go to a website called tinyjpeg.com, throw your images in there. See, this one's 1 1.2 meg, so that's pretty big, and you don't want the size of the image to slow things down. So this shrunk it down to a 362 KB. Um, and you just click download and it'll download the image for you. So you can do that for all of the images before you upload them into Dubsado, um, just so that they're not so large. It doesn't take so long to load. So back in Dubsado, I am now going to start selecting the images. Right, and so this one's a little bit big. So this is just to show you what this does. This width is basically your way of scaling an image. So that looks okay. Um, so I feel like this needs a space here. So I'm just going to drag a text box. I'm going to delete the content. I'm just going to do that just to give it a little bit of space. Oops. There we go. And now for the packages. So just find the right one. Again, this is massive. So let's say 50%. Does that look okay? Maybe a little bit bigger. 60%. Let's do that. And I'll do the same for the rest. So for these, for the add-ons, because they're already in columns, I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to leave them as is and not shrink down, not scale them at all. Okay, that is it. So that's the form. You can see there is no code here. So let me just save it. And let's see if I can preview it. Okay, so this is what it would look like from your client's end. And there, there needs to be some, some break. So always preview because you never know. Sometimes you think there's going to be a space. It doesn't look as great as you think. So just keep doing this. Keep previewing, keep going back, keep adding those breaks or text boxes, empty text boxes to add kind of like a divider. So in this case, I can see that I would prefer to have kind of a space there. So I'm just going to go back and edit. And I'm going to add a text box here or here, let's do it. Let's make it easier. Let's just duplicate this one and drag it up here. Save and preview. And you see that looks a little bit better. So we created a form that looks really nice inside of Dubsado um, without using any CSS code. And if you want to use a CSS code, that's perfectly fine. But if CSS code is something that you just don't want to deal with, um, this is one way of creating forms that look really good in a very simple way.